Yo, what's up Bali? How you guys doing? Apa kabar? And selamat pagi. Lately, I got more and more people ask me how they can work in Bali, in a company in Bali. And also, I got more and more questions from my client who already have a PTPMA about how they can hire a foreigner to work in their PTPMA. So share this video if you know somebody who want to work in Indonesia, in Bali, or somebody who want to hire foreigners to work in their company. Watch this video until the end because in this video, I'm gonna tell you about how to apply the working kitas, what is the document required, and of course, how much you have to pay. My name is Okimisa, I'm your host in Bali. Welcome to What's Up Bali channel, the number one channel for you to know how to go to Bali, how to live in Bali, and condition in Bali now. If you're interested on those, consider to subscribe. Guys, how you as a foreigner can work in a company in Indonesia, in Bali? To work in Bali, you must have a working KITAS. KITAS is a limited staying permit for foreigners to be able to stay in Bali at least one year. So yes, you must have working KITAS in order be able to work in Indonesia. To apply working kitas, you must first get hired by a company in Indonesia. Local PT or PTPMA doesn't matter. But if it's local PT, that local PT must have at least 1 billion Indonesian rupiah capital plan. Below that, they cannot hire a foreigner. But okay, I don't know where to work yet. Well, if you don't know where you're gonna be working, I suggest first you come to Indonesia with the 211A single entry visa. Why? Because at the moment you got hired by a company in Indonesia, in Bali, you can apply working kitas using this 211A single entry visa without have to leave Indonesia. But please pay attention. Make sure your 211A visa still valid for at least 30 days. Otherwise, we have to extend it first, then you can apply any kitas, including this working kitas, without have to leave Bali. You don't have to go out from Indonesia. Okay, now let's say you already got hired by a company in Indonesia, in Bali. Now, what document should you submit? What document should you prepare? So, in this case, because it's working kitas, it's not only you who have to submit your personal document, the company who hired you also have to submit some of their document to make sure that company is real. So what document should the company submit? First, the deed of the company, the Akte Pendirian. And then the business permit, the NIB. And then the minister decree, the SK Kemenkumham. I'm sorry a bit noisy because I'm sitting by the road. <laughs> so, so sorry. But I hope you still can hear my voice, right? Because I'm using this. Okay. What else? Then your company tax registration number, the NPWP. And then your company profile, the official company profile, the profil perusahaan. And then also you have to submit the domicile letter of your company to make sure your company is there. And then the worker social health insurance, the BPJS. The government want to know that you are insured at least two of your staff. And then one local ID, the KTP of one of your worker one of your staff and then the, the director passport and kitas if the director of the company is foreigners or the KTP if it's local and then the last one is the last WKLP report it's a report to Minister of Manpower so I have to prove that you have an account in Minister of Manpower the name is WKLP anyway if somehow you have a problem especially in the BPJS and the, the WKLP report and your account there, not to worry, just send me email. I can help you. Yeah, I can help you. Not to worry. This is my email. Also mention it down in the description. And then after the company document submitted, they're going to process it about three weeks, two to three weeks. They're going to check if the company is there. They're going to check if everything is okay before they allow you to hire a foreigner. Now let's say everything is okay. Let's say now they allow you to hire a foreigner. Now you, as who wants to apply working kita, can start submit your personal document, which is photo of your passport. Make sure still valid for at least 18 months. Why 18 months? Because your kita will be valid for 12 months. So at least your passport must be more than that. And then photo of yourself with wall as a background, portrait 
you know, and then address in Bali, and then your curriculum vitae, and then your expertise certificate. Yes, foreigners can only fill in a certain position, at least a manager level and up. A foreigner cannot fill in position like, I don't know, uh, as, uh, waiters for instance. No, you cannot. So below manager level, it's protected for a lot. And that's it. About 10 days, your working kit test will be issued. And when you got your working kit test, you can sponsor your immediate family, let's say like your wife, your children, to apply their family kit test so they can also live right here in Indonesia, in Bali. So if you want me to help you to get your working kit test, if you want me to help you with your WKLP account or the BPGS or any document, let me know. Send me email, also mention down in the description. And also please go to our website, this is it, Visa to Bali, if you want to know my other services. So that's all. Hit the subscribe button for those who haven't and smash the notification bell so you won't miss any update from me regarding how to go to Bali, how to live in Bali and condition in Bali now. My name is Akimisa, signing off.